Okay, so now we're going to be looking at degree radian conversion, so, uh, or the opposite, or the opposite. I'm going to be de converting degrees into radians and radians into degrees. So first, we have to figure out our conversion factor. And to find one, I'm going to use the fact that a full rotation is 360 degrees in degrees, and in rad, it's 2 pi. So what does that mean? It means that this full rotation angle is going to be 360, which is also 2 pi rad. So we already have a nice conversion factor, but we can simplify it by dividing both sides by 2. So we'll have 180 degrees is equal to pi rad. So we have a simpler conversion factor. 180 degrees is equal to pi rad that we're going to use for our conversions. So these are my two examples. I'm going to start with 85 degrees that I will convert into rads. So I'm going to multiply that by my conversion factor. So it's going to be pi rad over 180 degrees. So I put the degrees at the bottom to cancel them, and I'm going to be left with rads. So it's going to be one point, if I round that to two decimals, it's going to be 1.4848 rad. But you don't have to put the rad units because, as you know, rads are not actual units. Same thing here, 1.6 rad. I'm going to multiply that by 180 degrees divided by pi rad. And this will cancel out the rad units, even though they're not actual units. So I'm going to have something like, it's going to be 91.67 degrees rounded to two decimals. So that's how you convert degrees into radians and radians into degrees. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.